Thanks for joining us on Focus. Traditional corsets have been around for centuries, but the newest crop, they're called waist trainers. And they're actually getting endorsements from celebrities like Kim Kardashian and Jessica Alba. It's a way to slim down the waistline. But are they safe? Kelly, these waist trainers are not only popular with celebrities, but with many women here in the Baltimore area. One woman I spoke to not only swears by them, she also sells them and teaches others, both men and women, how to use them properly to get the results that they want. I wear mine every day, six to eight hours. After back surgery two years ago, Tia Keels needed something to compress her back while also allowing her to move around. That's when a friend introduced her to waist trainers. I had staples in my back. I couldn't bend forward. So I needed something that held me rigid and helped me sit up straight. And with the waist trainer, actually the way it's made, it causes a little bit of compression in your abdomen, which elongates that muscle, but it causes you to sit up straight so it corrects your posture. Waist trainers are essentially modern-day corsets that cinch in the waist. With continued use, Kiel said she began to notice a difference in her waistline. Originally, my waist was about 37 inches, and as I continued to wear my waist trainer, my waist got smaller and smaller. And then at that point, other people was asking me, what did I do? Eventually, giving out advice to friends turned into a business, ElaineOlivia.com, where Kiehl's not only sells waist trainers, but also meal plans, dietary supplements, and other fitness-related products. The current waist trainer craze, boosted by high-profile fans like Kim Kardashian, has business booming. To me, it feels very fitting. Um, but to be honest, it feels comfortable, like I can move in it. But how do doctors feel about them? Dr. Samir Dixit, a sports medicine internist at Johns Hopkins Medicine, says there is no scientific proof that waist trainers are effective at helping people shed unwanted pounds. The waist trainer itself isn't going to cause weight loss. It may inhibit your appetite if it's tight, and, and perhaps secondarily that can cause some loss of weight, but otherwise it doesn't directly cause weight loss. Mom of four, Lena Rogers, just started using a waist trainer a month ago. She says she's lost three inches from her waist and has noticed other benefits too. My posture is better. I don't slump anymore. I don't have the back pain that I used to have. Both Dr. Dixit and Keels advise against wearing the corsets too tightly. The waist trainer and corsets should never hurt. It should never cause any pain. You should feel a little tightness, but no, no pain. And so that's why it's best to be measured for your waist trainer. Though Dr. Dixit says the risk of serious injury is minimal. If you wear them too tightly, you could cause some bruising. Or if you had some underlying bone health issue that you knew about or didn't know about, you could cause yourself a, an in injury to the bone, uh, in theory. You feel the difference? Oh, yeah. All right. And how snug it is. Mm -hmm. Keels wears hers no more than six to eight hours a day. For those wanting to try it out, she says it's best to start slow. To get started, if you're not comfortable wearing it for the full six to eight hours, you want to wear it for two hours one day. The next day, wear it for two hours. Maybe the third day, increase it to two and a half hours to three hours. And then you increase it over time until you're comfortable and you're used to wearing it. Keels reports dramatic results, going from a 37 to a 30-inch waist and losing 30 pounds in the process. But she stresses the process was gradual in just one part of an overall fitness plan. A waist trainer is not a fix-all. What it is, it's a tool that you use just like when you go to the gym and you work out. It works best if you have a healthy diet, if you wear your waist trainer consistently, and if you work out. And Kiehl's recommends using your waist trainer when you are most active to get the maximum benefit, Kelly. And wearing it when you're sleeping, definitely not a good idea because you're not moving around or doing anything. And as always, you should always consult your doctor before you start any kind of weight loss regimen. Now, I know you got a big wedding coming up. Right. But also for good research. <laughs> did you try it out? Yeah, I actually did try it out myself. And here it is, Kelly, just mm -hmm. to take a look. Um, and so I just wanted to see if I would see any kind of results. I've worn it for about a week now. Okay. Let me tell you, day one, I could only wear it for about three hours. Wow. But after that, the next uh, six days, I wore it for eight hours consistently. So I haven't really seen any kind of results on my waistline yet, right. but I've only been wearing it for a week. So I'm going to continue to try to wear it, and I'll report back to you. Did it get more comfortable after the first day? It did, yeah. It took me about probably three days before mm -hmm. I didn't notice it as much. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, Troy. So we'll see. All right. Good work.